Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video. And in this one, we're talking about the announcement Supercell just came out with, in which they announced a new policy towards uh, fair play and how they're going to uh, enforce it much stricter. I will get into the details in just a moment. Uh, but as always, uh, you know, my opinions in this video uh, only are my opinions, not, you know, what the rest of the clan thinks. So I just want to make that clear for you guys. Uh, just kind of on a personal opinion type video, not any kind of official One Hive announcement or anything. But anyway, uh, we're going to talk about this. Um, some of you guys may not have seen the uh, announcement. Maybe you have on Chief Pat's channel or from some other source uh, and, or just saw, saw it on uh, the forums or something. But in case you didn't, I'll go ahead and read the very abbreviated version. They have um, a short announcement followed by a uh, more in-depth kind of description of what they're talking about. So I'm just going to read the brief part and I'll, I'll throw the link uh, to the to this in the description if you guys want to read on a little bit more. But uh, anyway, I'll just read the short part. It's on their uh, website, I believe, and it goes like this. We're stepping up our commitment to fair play. The goal? Provide a level playing field for everyone. As part of a fair play policy, players using prohibited third-party software will face disciplinary action, including but not limited to permanent ban. We consider bot and mod use cheating and strongly encourage players to remove any aforementioned programs from their devices. By offering this warning, we hope to give all players a chance to enjoy our games the fair way. Uh, important, this is not a one-time thing, but an ongoing initiative designed to safeguard all games going forward. Uh, click here to learn more about fair play. So yeah, uh, just to talk a little bit about what I think they're trying to say is it's something that's across all their games, not just Clash of Clans, uh, but Clash Royale 2 in their other games. I mean, we've seen uh, when Clash Royale, there was some issues with, with uh, cheating at the top levels, and they were quick to try to take care of that. Um, so I think they don't want to have the same thing happen to Clash Royale that happened to Clash of Clans. Uh, but now it looks like they're going to take the actions to try to make all their games as uh, fair play as possible. And... They're talking mainly about third-party software. Obviously, sharing accounts or buying accounts is against terms of service. It's not something they can really monitor or uh, ban people for, I don't think. I mean, I could be wrong. But uh, from what I see, the main uh, permanent bans are going to happen to people who are caught using this third-party software. So... Um, anyway, I've I mean I've made videos about my opinion on modding and kind of looking at it from interesting perspectives, interviewing a modder, various stuff. It's been controversial, I know, um, but if you look at the comments of those kind of videos, it's it's honestly just a war zone in there. You have fair play people, you have uh, you know third party software users, kind of going back and forth. And I think just in my opinion, once a iPhone game. You know, it's drawing this kind of animosity between two different type, two different groups. Something has to be changed, and I think this update, uh, if it kind of says what, it, if it's going to do what it says it's going to do, is really going to uh, kind of ease tensions within the game because you have the fair play people, which not only are annoyed at modders, but they're also annoyed with Supercell, who hasn't uh, fixed it. Now they have. They say, um, and it, it's going to kind of get a, get rid of this uh, tension between uh, Supercell and these two different groups of players uh, talking war right now. But obviously, this happens for trophy pushing, farming bots, and stuff. But I think for me and my channel, I mean, we're talking about war here, and I think that's kind of the most important thing, uh, and that's going to be affected by this new update or this new policy, I should say. So. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think it's because I am I mean, to be honest, I don't even like those videos I've made where there's the war in the comments. I don't even answer uh, comments anymore. I just kind of let it be um, because I think they say that any uh, thread online will, if you give it enough time, eventually be reduced to people calling each other Nazis. And I think that kind of held true with uh, some of these videos I've made where if it just goes back and forth so much it gets reduced to people just calling each other absurd things and kind of forgetting the context of what we're really talking about which is an iPhone game and yeah we take it really seriously at One Hive uh, but I think we all just kind of want to enjoy the game and uh, all this kind of bickering back and forth isn't something that we want to be part of it and I think this new update is really going to uh, get rid of this tension because uh, apparently Supercell has a reliable way 
of determining who is using third-party software. I don't think that's anything new. I think um, we've kind of known that. So uh, they should be able to get rid of the accounts of people who are doing this if they have this reliable method uh, like we suspect they do. And uh, I mean, it's just a level a matter of how many people they're going to get. I think that the high profile kind of modding clans, uh, the people that are open about using third party software are going to be the first to drop. But I think it might even trickle down just to individual people using farming bots or stuff. And I think that's great. I'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. Uh, but I do have subscribers out there, I think, that are uh, using third party software. And, you know, it's something I kind of aware of just by the comments, if nothing else. Uh, looking at these videos and uh, you know I don't mind it I have nothing against mod uh, modding personally as in like I don't personally uh, dislike people it's not like oh I hate you because you're a modder I don't agree with how you play the game I think it uh, cheapens the level of play for everyone else and uh, it annoys me that people do it but uh, I've never hated people personally for modding and I think whenever you uh, whenever you play a game and you break the terms of service and I'm, I'm not talking like a petty thing. I'm talking like you're seriously kind of hacking this game. I think that you're kind of tacitly agreeing that um, if, they, if, if the company can stop it, you know, you don't have any right to have your account. You're kind of saying, you know, I'm going to go off. I'm going to use this stuff because I want to. It's going to make the game more fun. But if I get caught, you know, I can't complain when my account gets banned. It's part of the it's part of the cheating. I think that's part of something you have to accept. I think a lot of people do accept that. A lot of people will quit the game or delete the software and just go fair play. So, I mean, I don't think there's any point in people complaining about this. It's something that we've known is going to happen, or at least uh, some people have suspected it's going to happen. I've been doubtful at times, but I'm really happy Supercell came through with this. And, uh, I mean, people all the time, I've heard modders say it, like, oh, Supercell will never do anything about it, that's why I mod. And it uh, looks like they are, so I'm, I'm really proud of them, to be honest, I think that they, I mean, people using this third-party software were so confident that Supercell wasn't going to do anything about it. But I think to be a, a great game and to take it to the next level, this is what's needed. And um, I think this is going to open up the game to so much more possibility. Because if you look at ClashCon or even earlier events where there's clan wars involved, if they have these quote-unquote top war clans who really are just using two-star strategies, kind of like Go Wipe and stuff. And it was kind of weird watching it as a, you know, a high level war participant to see these, you know, less than uh, cu cutting edge attack strategies being used. And I think it just shows that they're so worried that, you know, they're going to have people who use third party software getting involved in these public events and stuff. So by by making it um, if if they come through with it and, you know, get rid of this for the most part. By making the game a lot more fair play, I think it's going to expand uh, Clash of Clans to have uh, tournaments and kind of bigger, you know, almost like esport events where people can, you know, uh, compete and we don't have to worry about, oh, are you modding? Are they modding? Uh, I think it's going to be awesome. And I think this was needed because, uh, you know, the Clan War win streak is a factor now. Um, top clans are getting matched more often, so modding is going to become more of or should have become more of a problem, but if this update, um, or if this new policy, I should say, if it really affects the game and takes out a lot of people from, uh, the, from the game who are modding, I think it's going to make it, you know, almost exclusively fair play, and it's going to make the top wars a lot more interesting, because you won't have people pointing fingers saying, hey, you're modding, and we'll really get to see, you know, who's just the best clan on that day at that time and it should be something much more exciting much more fun and something for them to build off of in these tournaments or events or whatever they want to do so it's very cool i'm very proud of supercell and uh, as far as people who are modding like i said i've never had anything personal against them but you know it if it's going to be a decision am i going to keep modding and hope that you know i can get away with it or am i going to go fair play or am i going to quit the game and as they said at the end, it's not a one-time wave of bans. It's an ongoing search, kind of, to try to get rid of people who are using third-party software. So it's not like, okay, they banned like a bunch of people, but if I escape that ban, if I'm able to you know, sneak past it, I'm in the clear, uh, they're going to continue to do it. So I think if we can trust them on this one, modding is going to kind of go away. 
uh, in many respects because contrary to what people might think, you can't just update the game to try to throw off these people using third-party software. They're going to keep adapting it. The only way to take care of the problem is to take out their accounts, unfortunately. So that's just how it's going to be. And uh, I'm sorry to people who use mods who are disappointed, but a game is meant to be played fair play, and uh, that's how it should be played. When you get into modding, you know that you know you're taking a chance, and if the company chooses to do something about it, you know that's their choice, and they're in the right. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the attacks in the background. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Sector Toronto.